In ancient Egypt, there was a powerful pharaoh who was obsessed with the idea of eternal life. He spent his entire reign searching for the secret to immortality, and eventually, his quest led him to discover the Book of the Dead. The pharaoh was convinced that the spells and incantations contained within the book held the key to everlasting life, and he made it his mission to uncover the full extent of its power. He ordered his scholars to study the book and translate it into the language of the people, to understand its secrets and powers. He also sent expeditions to remote temples and tombs, to find any other copies of the book that may exist. As the pharaoh and his scholars delved deeper into the book, they began to realize that it was not just a guide to the afterlife it was a powerful tool for manipulation and control. The pharaoh discovered that the Book of the Dead contained hidden codes and messages that could be used to influence the minds of the living, and he quickly realized the true potential of this ancient text. One of the most powerful spells found in the book was the spell of opening the mouth which allowed the deceased to speak, eat, and breathe in the afterlife, thus ensuring their immortality. Another spell, known as the spell of the weighing of the heart, helped the deceased to pass the judgment of the god Anubis, and secure their passage to the afterlife. With the power of the Book of the Dead at his disposal, the pharaoh began to use it to control his subjects and cement his rule over Egypt. He used its power to manipulate the minds of his generals and advisors, to control the decisions of the court, and to sway the opinion of the people. But he was not content with just ruling the land he wanted to rule the afterlife too. He ordered his scribes to create copies of the book, and he had them placed in the tombs of the elite, ensuring that they would be able to use its power even after death. He also ordered the construction of grand and elaborate tombs, filled with traps and obstacles, to protect the book and its secrets from tomb robbers. But the pharaoh's obsession with the book of the dead would ultimately be his downfall. As his rule became more tyrannical, the people of Egypt began to rise up against him. They saw how the pharaoh was using the book's power to control them, and they didn't want to be under his spell forever. In the end, the pharaoh was overthrown and his empire crumbled. But the book survived. The copies placed in the tombs of the elite remained hidden for centuries, waiting for someone to uncover their secrets once again. And some people believe that the book still holds power, and the conspiracy theory is that the book is still being used to control the minds of the people and to manipulate the events of the world. They say that there are secret societies and powerful organizations that have uncovered the book and are using its power for their own gain. The true extent of the book's power remains a mystery, but one thing is certain. Whoever possesses the book of the dead holds the key to eternal life and the power to control the fate of the world. This is the story of the book of the dead, a powerful ancient text that holds the secret to immortality and the power to control the fate of the world. But whether or not the story is true is for you to decide. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe. See you next time.